hi it's future from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful satin slip top or camisole top please stay tuned make sure to subscribe to my channel so that each time i upload new videos you get notified You need a basic bodice block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So first you're going to start with the front. So trace around your block as usual, making sure to mark all the notches and darts. Lift your block. Draw in your dart. Square in your waistline and square in your underarm line as well. Coming to the shoulder here, we're going to outline our shoulder seam allowance, which is 1.5 centimeters for me. And we're also outlining our arm or seam allowance, which is 1 centimeter for me. Now measure between these points and mark halfway. Next, we're going to square a line down from this point to the underarm line. Now measure from the arm or shoulder junction to the halfway point we marked and just write down the distance there. Now from the underarm point, just measure 10 centimeters up and put a mark like I'm doing here. Then go one centimeter from the underarm line at the center front and put a mark. Join these two points with a straight line like I'm doing here. Now coming to the underarm point there, we're going to move it up by one centimeter and move it in by one centimeter. Up one centimeter and in one centimeter. This will help avoid gaping at the armhole. At the hip line, we're going to move out by two centimeters and we're going to join the raised point to the two centimeter point with a straight line like i'm doing here extend your waistline at the waistline we're going to come in by 1.5 centimeters so that we can soften our side seam connect this point to the raised armhole point and finish off the side seam with a curved ruler like i'm doing here So we're not going to include this in our pattern and we moved in by 1.5 centimeters. We moved the hip line out by 2 centimeters. Now we're going to ignore the dart in this pattern. Join these two points with a curved ruler. Like I'm doing here. Now measure the distance between the seam allowance and this point and write it down. 10 centimeters for me. This will help us when we are drafting the straps for our top. Adding my seam allowance all around. So the center front is going to be on fold. And I'm adding the hem allowance, which is one centimeter for me in this case. Adding notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern. Front top, cut one on fold, and I put my initial. Now I'm adding the grain line to the pattern parallel to the center front. Next, we're drawing in our facing for the front. So going seven centimeters down and square a line like I've done, and go to the side seam and square a line down seven centimeters as well. Then with the curve through, I join these two points. 
Next, get a stretch pattern paper and put it under your pattern so we can trace out the front facing. So we're just tracing all around here like I'm showing you with a tracing wheel. Remove the pattern from under it and just cut it out following through the tracing wheel marks there. Now I'm drawing in my green line for the front facing and the center front is going to be on fold as well and labeling the pattern piece front facing cut one on fold plus one fusing on fold as well and I put my initial now bringing back our front pattern and we're just going to cut around the pattern like I'm doing here so our slip top can also be cut on bias so I'm just putting in my bias grain line here you make a choice what you want to do and our flat patterns are finished now we're moving on to the back trace around your block as usual marking all the notches in the dart lift your block draw in your dart square in your waistline Adding the hem allowance one centimeter. Square in your underarm line. Now I'm outlining the seam allowance for the shoulder 1.5 centimeters and outlining seam allowance for the armhole as well one centimeter. Coming down from the shoulder armhole junction go six centimeters like we've done with the front or just go halfway square a line down to the underarm line raise the underarm one centimeter and go in one centimeter again like we did with the front square a little line moving the hip line out by two centimeters like we did with the front again put a mark and extending the hem allowance as well now connect these two points with a straight line now extend your waistline and come in by 1.5 centimeters at the waist there to soften the side seam like we did with the front connect these two points with a straight line and finish off the side seam with a nice curve like I'm doing here So this part is out, we came in 1.5 centimeters and out 2 centimeters. Ignore the dart. Now I'm finishing off the neckline for the back and adding the seam allowance 1 centimeter. Now measure this distance and write it down. We'll add one centimeter for the seam allowance there to make it 18.2 centimeters. Remember that. Make sure to put that notch for the strap location and all the other notches. At the center back, we're going to trim off 1.5 centimeters, which is included in our block as a zip allowance. So I'm just marking it out now. And our center back is going to be on fold. 
and labeling the pattern back top cut one on fold and I put my initial adding the green line parallel to the center back and drawing in our facing for the back which is quite easy because everything is just straight so just go seven centimeters down and just draw a straight line it can also be cut on bias like we did with the front now get a fresh pattern paper and put it under your pattern so that we can trace off our facing like we did with the front using a tracing wheel just this part now get the pattern out and just outline the center back so that we don't get mistaken there now cut around the pattern following through the tracing wheel marks I'm measuring 1.5 centimeters along the center back there so that I can take out the zipper allowance from the block now that's our new center back and labeling the pattern back facing cut one on fold plus one fusing on fold as well and I put my initial adding the grain line parallel to the center back and cutting the main pattern for the back like I'm doing here and our back patterns are finished now we're moving on to making the bias straps for our slip top now for the bias straps you need your front and back measurement so for our back measurement we added one centimeter for the seam allowance for the front we had added it already so add the two together to get the strap length and the width i'm using is four centimeters so first draw a straight line square a line up from this line which is four centimeters measure from this point for 28.2 centimeters which is our strip length now from this point square a line up which is four centimeters again and square a line across join these two points with a straight line when labeling the pattern top strip cut two and I put my initial now adding a grain line to the pattern piece it's going to be cut on bias and cutting around the pattern piece adding bias grain lines to the facing pieces as well I forgot to do that earlier And all our pattern pieces are finished now we're moving on to sewing now moving on to making our camisole top so what you need are your completed patterns your fabric and your cutting tools for the fabric I'm going to be using this beautiful black satin fabric so now we're moving on to cutting our fabrics So I finished cutting all my fabric so the first thing we're gonna do is to iron on our interfacings to our facings. Let's do that. Okay so that's done. So now we're going to take our front and back pieces, lay them one on top of the other, right sides facing. Now pin along the side seams. So we'll 
take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams here with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance and I'm going to overlock this closed, okay? Then whilst we're there, we're also going to take our facing pieces, lay them one on top of the other, right sides facing as well. Match the side seams and just pin along. So we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams here as well with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. When we finish that, we're going to overlock right around the whole edge here, the bottom edge, okay? Then we're also going to take our straps and we're going to fold them back right sides facing like this and then we're going to go to our sewing machine and sew with a 0.5 centimeter seam allowance okay 0.5 centimeter seam allowance all the way down for both let's go and do all those stages now okay so that's done and i also went ahead and gave it a press so next we're going to take both our straps or spaghetti straps and get a safety pin or a loop tenner if you've got one so we need to turn the straps onto the right side now so just pin on one side just like that and just push everything through right so next we're going to turn our top to the right side like this and I just like to put mine on the side to make it easy for me to align my straps just like that so this is our side seam now locate your notch for the back put your strap there and get the other end and line it up with the pointed edge pin it down turn over to the other side and repeat the same Now we're going to take our facing piece, wrong side up, and we're going to put our top through it like this. Align everything nicely and put pins all around. So now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew all around with a one centimeter seam allowance. So whilst we're there, we're also going to finish our hemline. So what we're going to do is to do a double turned hem. So just turn it twice and give it a top stitching. Okay, I'm gonna do all that now. Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to go ahead and just clip the curved edges. So now we're going to go to the sewing machine again and we're going to understitch the whole neckline as far as you can. So you're just going to roll your facing on top of the seam allowance here like this. And then we're going to give it a top stitching up here, okay? Just on the facing side. Let's go and do that. Okay, now so that's all done. I went ahead and did all the understitching right round, okay? And I also went ahead and ironed everything down nicely. Now we're gonna turn this to the right side. 
and I also finished off my hem which is a double turned hem 5 millimeters at the end now our final step is to do a ditch stitching at the side seams here to attach the facing to the top so that everything sits nicely so that's done and my little camisole top is finished and I'm happy with the result thank you